We are so fortunate to live in a place that truly appreciates and supports the arts and has such a creative spirit. As Georgia O'Keeffe said, I found I could say things in colors and shapes that I could say no other way, things I had no words for. Real estate is about so much more than four walls and a roof. It's about how a community really lives. It's about a lifestyle. Our agents are intimately familiar with the communities they work in. They eat at the restaurants, they dedicate their time to the nonprofits, they play in these mountains. I'm Ann Aldridge. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Beverly Hanks TV, helping you to live the life you choose in Western North Carolina. Today we are at the Asheville Art Museum to take an inside look and talk about their exciting new expansion. The museum is based in Asheville, but its reach goes so much farther into Western North Carolina. Can you tell us a little bit about the part that the museum plays in the culture here? Sure, my pleasure. The museum collects American art of the 20th century, but we have a sub-focus on art of particular importance to Western North Carolina. So that if you're a visitor to the museum or a resident of Western North Carolina, anytime you come you'll see work like this by Joseph Albers, who was a very important figure here in the mid-20th century. And you'll also see work by other artists who've lived and worked here over the century. At the same time, you'll see important works of American art from around the country that are internationally acclaimed as part of the American aesthetic development in this time period. Pam, how many people visit the museum on average per year, and where do they come from? We have over 100,000 participants in our programs. You know, we have 12 or 15 uh, exhibitions a year and over 200 pro programs for people of all ages. Visitors come from all 50 states, from throughout 24 counties we serve in Western North Carolina and from many, many places abroad. You moved to Asheville from New York and were previously with the Guggenheim. Tell us a little bit about why you chose to come to Asheville. The folks I met here knew that this city was on the verge of just exploding and that it had always been a center for the arts and for creative people, and so I took their word, moved myself here, and have never looked back. It's an incredible community to live in. The people you meet, the artists working, the creative sector at large, whether it's in theater or film or dance or architecture, it's all here, and it's a group of people who are passionate about the arts and about history. So what better place could you be than at a museum in a community that values those things? We are with Kathleen Glass, the Communications Manager of the Asheville Art Museum. Kathleen, I know you just recently moved to Asheville from Macon, Georgia. What made you choose Asheville over anywhere else that you could have moved? Well, as I mentioned to you earlier, with a background in arts administration, I really wanted to find a great arts community and museum to be a part of in the southeast. And of all the places that I could have looked, whether it was Atlanta or Savannah, um, Asheville really stood out to me as a very unique community in that it's small but has an incredibly thriving art scene from your commercial galleries to this wonderful museum that we have here. And the, the Asheville Art Museum is really unique in that it serves 24 counties as the only visual, major visual arts institution in this entire region. So it's really more than just Asheville, it's the entire region. So that was the major appeal for me. You mentioned that the museum's only able to display about 3% of the permanent collection right now and that the programming that you have is just filled to the brim. What is the expansion going to enable you to do once that takes place? It's really exciting and we're going to be able to show probably two and a half times as much of the permanent collection at any given time. We're going to have changing exhibition spaces where we can bring in major traveling exhibitions or create our own. We're going to have new spaces for public programming for kids and for school groups and for adult programs of all kinds. We have a new space for film and video. Really, really exciting. There'll be a rooftop sculpture terrace and cafe for that late in the day glass of wine looking at the mountains. That's it for this episode of Living the Life You Choose in Western North Carolina. If you'd like to learn more about our region, please visit one of our offices in Buncombe, Haywood, or Henderson counties, or from the comfort of your own home, go to beverlyhanks.com. Join us next time as we talk with Neil Hanks about how the real estate market is shaping up for 2012.